Good evening. Thank you for tuning in again to an episode of Instantly Shannon. Kind of like that. Tonight, I'm going to try to throw this hard frozen chunk of pork sirloin tip roast into my trusty little instant pot. Let's see what happens. First things first, this has quickly become my very best friend. Add a little bit of this to some water. Instant, uh, what do we have? Broth, that's right. In this case, I'm gonna add some beef uh, bouillon to my pork to see if that's gonna become a good base. Hey, Nico, can you get the dog some water, please? Thank you. Uh, next, I'm going to add all the ingredients to Okay, here we're mixing it with some hot water so that it dissolves better. Okay, let's go ahead and pour this. Oh, it is clean. It's just stainless steel. Relax. So there goes that. Next, we're going to get a quarter cup soy sauce. I have no idea where a quarter cup is. So, you know, I'm just going to eyeball it. Hey Santa, I need a new measuring cup. Might be a quarter cup, maybe a little bit more for good measure. There we go. Into the pot. Next, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, but I prefer organic olive oil. Let's see if I can do it. Ah, very good, Shannon, very good. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 that's so good. Next, I'm going to alter the recipe a little bit. It calls for uh, dried onion flakes or something. Only like one and a half teaspoons. So I'm going to throw, I think I'm going to throw half of an onion in there just because onions are great. <laughs> I changed my mind on this. I can't flip it around. <laughs> okay. Never go wrong with minced garlic. Or garlic in general. Actually, I'm going to put some fresh garlic. Oh. <laughs> Hello, garlic. Oh, you want more? Sure, let's add some more garlic. Boop. Mmm. Let's stir this stuff around in here. Wow. <clears throat> That's powerful. <clears throat> Dear Santa, could you also please get me some scissors that actually cut so that I don't have to use these like <laughs> hair cutting scissors because they're the sharpest. Let me see if I can cut this open with one hand. Oh, well, that's just not working. Uh, all right, this is one nice big chunk of frozen meat. All we're going to do is set it right inside, right on top, just like that, I guess. Okay, so this guy is going to go in here for, hello. Oh, there we go. Um, for, uh, let's see, pressure cook. All we're putting it in there for is 20 minutes. Come on. Stop sliding back. Oh. Oh, for Pete's sake. There we go. Okay, make sure that the pressure valve is in the sealing position, and then you can go do the dishes, or whatevs. See you in a minute. Okay, should have only let 20 minutes go by, but I was busy making my cauliflower fried rice. So, let's see how she looks. Okay, all right. Smells pretty good. Not gonna lie. What is that? Oh, it's gross.
just all right let's cut it yeah uh, something tells me it's not cooked all the way so yeah lies okay so i let it pressure cook for another 20 minutes and then slow whatever natural release for an additional 40 minutes and voila much much better i don't know why the heck that lady said to only cook it for 20 minutes because she be cray cray that's all the time we have for tonight's show thank you for joining us me and nico and the dogs and the cats uh so in the future know that if you plan on cooking a frozen roast it will take approximately 40 minutes to cook and an additional 20 to maybe even 40 minutes to um natural pressure release Yay. all right until next time ttfn okay bye